Good morning. Alfred Street Baptist Church is celebrating future and current college students with a plethora of events, all of which are free and open to the public. Well, here with more on their upcoming festivities is their pastor, Reverend Dr. Howard John Wesley. Welcome back. Glad to be back. It's been too long. I think you need to come back a lot more often. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> You've got something really special to celebrate that's coming up tomorrow, yeah. the annual HBCU Festival. Right. Tell me about that. Well, it's our 13th annual HBCU Festival. We gather together all the HBCUs from around the nation. There'll be more than 70 that are gathered tomorrow. It is the largest HBCU Festival on the East Coast. Uh, last year, we had over 3,000 high school students from around the nation who gathered together. Uh, we have over 600 on-site applications, over a million dollars in scholarship and financial assistance. So a lot of young people show up tomorrow with no idea of where they're going to college, and they're going to leave with an admission letter and a scholarship in their hand. So you're basically saying a student or potential student, college student, can come there and walk away with the scholarship? Walk away with the scholarship, walk away with an admission letter, and know that in the fall of the year, they're going to pursue a great education at one of our great institutions, our historically black colleges and universities. That's pretty awesome. It's great for the student. It's great for the, the universities as well because... HBCUs need a lot of help right now. Well, they do, and it, it takes us to invest back into them, not only with resource, but also with students, and for our students to recognize that these institutions have produced greatness in America, and they have an opportunity to be part of that living legacy. So good. I'm so glad that you're yeah. doing this. Now, tell me what students have to do to prepare if, they're, if they want to get one of these scholarships. All right, well, definitely. They have to come prepared with their transcripts uh, from their school, from their high school education. Uh, you want to come dressed to impress. It's business. Correct. We are not encouraging genius jeans and t-shirts, you will not be given admission to a college like that. We want to encourage that professionalism. Uh, so come with the transcripts, come ready to interview, and come prepared to show who you are and your best and know that there's a school there uh, that's going to be ready to wi and willing to accept you and move forward. Very good. That's yeah. good advice for the real world. Exactly. When you're trying to get a job or anything, you should have that same thing in mind. Now, are you expecting parents and students? Is, are you encouraging parents? Definitely, definitely. So we have a lot of students who will be coming down with counselors from like the New York area or up from North Carolina, but if parents are in the area, they're encouraged to come. There are seminars that are relevant for parents about the application process, about that financial aid forms, about how to get scholarship, about preparing your children for college, both mentally and emotionally for what they're going to be going through. We have a lot of presenters that will be there. We also have representatives from our armed forces because everyone's not the traditional college track that will be there. We'll have representatives from all of the black Greek sororities and fraternities that will be wow. present. We've got a live marching band that will be there. So it's really going to be a great day. That's going to be a great day. Great it's going to be fun and you can walk away with a scholarship. Walk away with I, a I'm scholarship. I'm just wrapping my brain around that. Now every year you've been doing better. Right. Last year how well did you do and what are you expecting this year? All right. So last year we came in right under 3,000 students. At t we hosted at T.C. Wow, Williams High great. School. So 3,000 students. We gave away over 660 on-site uh, admissions wow. and over a million dollars. That was our banner year. A million dollars in scholarship and financial aid. So this year even with the cold and the weather we anticipate at least making those numbers are higher. So we definitely want to encourage young people from the local area who may not be aware, register online today, but if they fail to make it, show up and we're sure we'll find a way. Okay, that's good. So you're encouraging people, if you can, register online today. Definitely. And where do they do that? They go to our website, alfredstreet.org, all spelled out, A-L-F-R-E-D-S-T-R-E-E-T.org. They'll find the application there, they fill it out, and it's free. Just show up. I love it. Everything about this is good. <laughs> yeah. But if they, even if they don't get a chance to go online today. You're not saying don't give up because nope. you can still, you're taking all walkers. We encourage them to come out. Yeah. This is one of the great events of our church. It's a kind of all hands on deck. We'll have over 300 volunteers from our church who are there. It's a great opportunity for members to serve, to interact with young people, to help out our HBCUs. This is a win-win scenario it's for everybody. It's a win-win scenario. And what are you doing on Sunday? On Sunday, we honor an HBCU. So every year after the festival, we choose in a historically black college and we invite their president to come. This year it's Livingstone College. Uh, their president and CEO will be present with us and our church will make a $25,000 donation to support Livingstone College down in North Carolina. You're doing great things at your church. The last time you were on, so many of my friends were saying, oh my goodness, you had my pastor on. <laughs> you have a lot of people following you at your church and you're the oldest African-American Baptist church in, in this Alexandria? Area, yeah, and definitely the sixth oldest in the nation at uh, more than 208 years now. Alpha Street Baptist Church has 
has been in existence. We were founded in 1803, um, and so we're grateful to celebrate this long history. So I'm glad to say that I inherited a great church and that I'm surrounded with a great membership of, of believers who want to see us continue to do great things. I love that you're doing so many great things in the community like this festival. Yeah, yeah. It's a joy for us. You know, we want to be a church that reaches outside of our walls and people understand that we don't just worship in the church, but we live our faith out and how we interact in love, which is the ultimate sign that you're in a relationship with the Lord is that you can love other people. I love that. Okay, yeah. before we let you go one more time, give us the website where people can go online and get registered. So www.alfredstreet.org. You'll be able to click right on there on the HBCU Festival. The online registration is there. It's quick and simple. It's free. And we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I love it. I look forward to seeing you on this show again. Definitely. I love being here Thank with you. Thank you so much. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back with more Let's Talk Live right after this. Thank you.